Check down countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good evening. And to those of you joining us from the East Coast, a very early good morning. My name is Ronnie Foreman, and I am a commercial sales manager here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for tonight's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 209th overall mission and 10th mission of 2023. 
But before we jump into tonight's launch, I'm excited to be sharing a quick update on Starship. This past Thursday, just a few weeks after a full flight-like wet dress rehearsal of the fully integrated vehicle, the teams in Starbase completed a static fire test of Starship's Super Heavy Booster, firing 31 Raptor 2 engines simultaneously for the very first time. This static fire test produced 7.9 million pounds force, or about 3,600 metric tons of thrust. And it was one of the last major milestones before Starship's first orbital test flight. It is a super exciting time to be here at SpaceX, and we're looking forward to Starship's orbital test flight coming up soon. On your screen is Falcon 9 at our Launch Complex 40 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Currently, weather and range are both green for launch, and we're proceeding with a T0 time of 12.10 a.m. Eastern. On your screen, you can see the clamp arms pulling away from the vehicle and the beginning of transporter erector retraction. We're tracking liftoff just about three minutes and 40 seconds from now. And the next major milestone we're coming up on is liquid oxygen load, which we expect to complete at about T minus three minutes. Stage one, lock load complete. There you heard that call out for stage one locks load complete, which means that at this point, Falcon 9's first stage is fully loaded with rocket propellant one, or RP1 for short, and liquid oxygen, or locks. We're awaiting the completion of locks load on the second stage in just about 45 seconds. You can see some clouds forming around Falcon 9, but that's definitely nothing to worry about. The gases above the LOX tank are venting out into the Florida atmosphere to maintain a constant pressure. And when that gas comes into contact with the air, it makes actual clouds. And again, in just about 20 seconds here, we'll have stage two finish up LOX loading, at which point the vehicle will be fully fueled. H2, locked load complete. With that call out, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Of course, reusability is the key to SpaceX's success, and the booster you're seeing on screen yeah, yeah. is up. flying tonight for the 12th time, having previously supported Nilesat 301, Axiom 1, Inspiration 4, GPS 3, Space Vehicle 4 and 5, in addition to six previous Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, we'll be planning to recover this booster again today. We're targeting a landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed east of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Falcon 9 is in startup. We just heard that Falcon 9 is on startup or on internal power. This means that the batteries on board the first and second stages will take over the management of Falcon 9 on launch and ascent. Go for launch. Love to hear that call out. The launch director has given us the final go to proceed for tonight's launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 55 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Press 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink 5-4.
Wilson pitching down range. If you're just joining us, we are at T plus 30 seconds and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at 12.10 a.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry now. Falcon is supersonic. With that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound, around 770 miles per hour. Max Q. That call out is for Max Q, which is the period of maximum dynamic pressure the rocket will feel during flight. one minute away from several events happening back to back. The first is gonna be MECO or main engine cutoff where all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Then we'll see stage separation where the first and second stages separate from each other. Followed by second engine start one where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage for the first time. And then we'll have fairing separation where the two fairing halves separate away from each other and fall back to earth. Stage separation confirmed. Separation. And back in. Bearing separation confirmed. Incredible views on our screen here. You just heard and hopefully saw that we had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and fairing separation. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven, just like our booster, with one half flying for the fifth time and the other for the eighth. We'll attempt to recover these fairing halves again tonight on our recovery vessel, Doug, and then potentially use them to support a future mission as well. Stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories, and currently the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. Our MVAC engine has been lit on the second stage, glowing orange on your screen there, and this burn is expected to last about another five minutes. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. We're currently live in 47 countries and 59 global markets. beautiful views of stage two on your screen, which you can see is still picking up speed and altitude on its way to space. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Call out there that both vehicles are still headed in the right direction.
And in just about a minute here, we're coming up on our first acquisition stage of signal, Bermuda. Entry burn one. That'll be the first of two burns for the first stage. Again, if you are just joining us, you're looking at a view of stage one on the left and stage two on the right. We're just about T plus six minutes into a successful mission so far. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, FTS has saved. Again, on the left-hand side of your screen, you're watching Stage 1's entry burn, the first of two that we're going to see on tonight's mission. Stage 1, which is also known as the booster, has now ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Stage 2, FTS has saved. Stage 1, entry burn, shut down. As a reminder, the first stage that we're seeing today has been launched 12 or 11 times previously to today. Today is its 12th mission, and we're coming up on its 12th entry burn. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Awesome views on the grid fins there on the left side of your screen. Stage one, transonic. You just heard that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound on its way back to Earth. In just about 30 seconds, we should be coming up on landing bird for the first stage for the 12th time. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. Stage one has now lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. This final burn slows down the rocket and will help it land on the drone ship. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, making this our 160th landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Nominal orbit insertion. And there you've also heard a call out there of nominal orbit insertion for the 55 Starlink satellites that are currently on board stage two. As you can see on your screen, we have had a successful landing of Falcon 9's first stage booster, and now stage two is carrying 55 Starlinks into low Earth orbit. With confirmation of that successful landing and second engine cutoff, that'll wrap up our launch coverage for today. Be sure to check out our social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. And pro tip, that's where you can see that killer uh, Starship static fire video that we showed at the top of the show. Thanks for joining us for SpaceX's 209th overall mission and 10th mission of this year. We'll see you again soon.